Hassan is having a mental breakdown because he's losing viewership. Now, if you're actually one of the lobotomites that watches this guy, I pray for you. I really do. But it seems that people are slowly inserting their brains back into their heads and realizing that this guy is full of shit. Now, Hassan is a trust fund socialist who has some of the worst takes on the entire planet. If you guys remember, the last time I talked about him on my main channel was when he was defending a bunch of rioters from being beating and robbing an old man on the street. Truly an intellectual titan on the side of justice over here. Anyways, uh, today he randomly started crying in his Discord about his viewership and it's honestly hilarious. Here we got a tweet, Hassan is having a mental breakdown in his Discord over his declining viewership. Here's the first message, I'm so sad, I think the streams are bangers, but people just don't see them. Now, if you ever refer to a Hassan stream as a banger, I want you to know that your parents have failed you in several ways. And you might, I'm not saying anything, you might have a brain tumor. Just saying. My guy, what are you saying? You sit on stream for 10 hours a day, literally eating food, reacting to other people's videos. This dude is literally the male Pokemon. There's an actual meme about him that, that's posted pretty much everywhere. Live Hassan reaction because he's literally not there. He has this thing where he refuses to pause videos because the thing about streaming is that if you're not constantly on, people will leave, right? People will, because these are some, I don't know, ADHD kids or whatever. So if he pauses the video, he loses like 5,000 viewers or something because people are obviously there for the shit he's reacting to or whatever. And he's so obsessed with having a high viewership and so insecure about, about that count that he refuses to pause the video. And essentially, like even when he's going to the toilet or going somewhere, he just leaves it on. And that's, that's really shitty to the creator he's actually reacting to, you know? Okay, comment number two, we used to be a community. I hate what my community is becoming. Womp womp dude, wasn't this guy the same reject that was crying literally a month ago about how streaming is harder than a nine to five job and how streaming is more mentally draining than regular service jobs? Like people say God doesn't make mistakes, but then we have Hassan. So I don't know about that one, dude. We, I, like he's saying we used to be a community. Like this dude had the nicest community on the planet over here. Like uh, when people think of good communities, we think of Hassanabi over here. All also, can I just point out that if you hate what your community is becoming, it's it's probably your fault because your, your community reflects the streamer, especially in, in the Twitch space. So if you don't like them, you probably just don't like yourself. They probably use the same sort of twisted logic you do when arguing with people, you know, and that probably pisses you off. Now, probably one of the best messages here, I swear Twitch streaming isn't about the actual content. It's about whether people want to pay attention to you or not in cloud. All that shit was a banger and 13k watch like I'm f***ing gaming at 8pm. This guy is actually crying over getting 13,000 viewers live. Oh my god, this dude is the type of guy in class, right? To get a 99 score and then he'll, <laughs> he'll go up in class in front of everybody and go to the teacher and be like, Wee! wanted a hundred. <laughs> I suck guys, I don't even study. Like, dude, stop being such a bitch man you have the best job in the world you sit on your ass doing nothing and your community is so absolutely cultish that you don't even have to worry about ever getting canceled you can literally say the most outrageous shit imaginable and people do not care because I don't, I don't know what shrooms you have them on but you've you've got them under a spell like you can say the stupidest shit ever and they just don't care dude i mean I, I don't i can't i can't possibly think of a better gig than that also i just love the absolute irony over here of twitch streaming isn't about the actual content and this guy coming to a realization that he's not special at all dude everything on the internet like just because you have a following on the internet doesn't mean you're hot shit, doesn't mean you're better than everybody the amount of idiots that are so popular popular beyond belief it should be a testament to like to showing everybody that it doesn't take much to become famous like some of the top streamers are literally just women with with their clothes off literally in in various you know roundabout ways essentially all these hot tub streamers and they pretty much get similar viewership dude like it's not something special you're doing and i, and I feel like he's finally realizing that he's not hot 
accepted it. And that's kind of, you know, breaking down his whole whole like persona or something that, oh my God, I'm better than everybody. And then he just continues whining here. I'm done, guys. I hate this job. I'm not streaming today. And yeah, that was the one day that the world actually had peace. Angels started to sing. Dead people came back to life. In fact, my dead great great grandmother just resurrected and was like, wait, Hassan's gone? I can come back? <laughs> yeah, let's go, baby. <laughs> All injuries around the world was cured, bro. That's a, that was a special day for sure. And then this last part, I'm going to neck myself. Hassan, when he doesn't make six bajillion dollars a day, I'm going to jump off a bridge, guys. Listen, no joking. If this is like somewhat serious or whatever, dude, you should not let streaming affect your mental so much to the point where you're actually saying stuff like this. You're literally a multimillionaire. It's such a loser thing to actually be sad about any of this and actually be mad about getting only 13,000 viewers here. Like, you know, you can be a little upset over, over it or whatever, but this sort of meltdown you're having here, it's just not healthy, man. You need to get off the internet. You need to go touch some grass. You need to realize that your viewership doesn't define you. This kind of reaction is only from somebody who places their entire like worth on their viewership and they think that if they if the viewership goes down they're not worth anything which probably is true in the case of Hassan over here but let's let's pretend it's not for a second and you know Hassan writers was all, always going to be in the comment section well actually he's joking well actually it's satire it's actually giga brain satire here dude he's complained about this for several months to years and now it clearly affects him so much that he literally decides not to stream some days and he gets so angry over it and like it's always this dumb shit of the schrodinger's idiot you say something completely idiotic and then when called out i was just joking guys i didn't actually mean it that way same thing with the the streaming is harder than a nine to five well i didn't mean it that way I was actually just talking about this like no, you said what you said. People have no sympathy. Bro thinks silently watching YouTube videos for six hours while somehow eating chicken and rice the entire time is banger content. Hassan said, wallahi, I'm finished. Hassan always seems to blame everyone but himself. That's that's pretty much a, a requirement in his fear. He's not a serious streamer, Lamau. Nothing to give except throwing random racist accusations, not even at his share half of the time. He, must, he may just have to fight Sam Hyde to stay relevant. Live Hassan reaction, the class. Good. It couldn't happen to a more deserving person. It's an election year, so it'll probably be all right. But the fact that he's incapable of taking a step back and realizing how his viewership is still high, how he's set for life, how he has a solid run as one of the most watched streamers ever, like he's just incapable of sourcing happiness from those factors is just so wonderful. He is, to his core, not a good person. And for the longest time, his sheer popularity and viewership would outweigh that in any drama he found himself in. But his dishonest, reckless, and egregious coverage of all these issues people have just clocked out into his two, true nature and moved on good riddance yeah willie mac show has made a bunch of videos just exposing him so if, if you're interested in all that go ahead and uh, even even the most like devout hassan fan would probably be converted lasan downfall finally happened is just so peak oh. <laughs> Dude, the amount of people just preying on this guy's downfall genuinely, like, restores faith in humanity for me, okay? You know? <laughs> when Hassan actually follows through and never streams again, can't believe... <laughs> Dude, oh my god, this is too funny. Bro said he's gonna neck himself over views. Listen, all I can think is that is a desperate cry for attention over there. It's kind of like, oh, my viewership is falling. Please look at me, guys. Look at me. I'm going, I'm gonna neck myself. Like, okay, so here are Hassan's statistics over here. Declining viewership and subs. Oof. And uh, this February 2024 with 50k subs. And now it's almost halved over here. Tier ones have dropped. Tier twos, every basically everything's dropped. Oh, he got he got three extra tier three subs over here. God damn, that's impressive. No, but basically he went from earning six bajillion dollars to five bajillion dollars. Like it's not a big deal at all. The only people that whine about this are extremely privileged fucking losers such as himself, who genuinely think that this is harder than like a genuine like nine to five job here. I don't know, man. It's just in such bad taste. Probably at least once in your life, be grateful for what you have 
be grateful for what your community has actually given you, given you the opportunity to connect with people, to, you know, live your life on such ultra omega easy mode, where you just get up in the morning, you have no stress, you don't even have to stream that day if you don't want to, you don't like, you can just disappear for a month and you'd be completely fine. Basically what's happening here is that you, you yourself are choosing to stream, you're burning yourself out with all these numbers, getting obsessed over it. And you know, I can understand a lot of creators are obsessed over the numbers. It's a a very hard thing to distance yourself from but crying about it especially being in the position you are with the with the takes you've had previously is just not a good look a 45 percent decrease in a month depressing okay so if your viewership halved in a day i mean bro it's the internet shit happens dude goddamn get over it got mitch over here i used to be subbed to his son used to consider myself a liberal was interested but disgusted with his coverage of situations yeah Dude, if you trust his opinion on absolutely everything, like the amount of times I've seen him completely misrepresent a situation to push an agenda is crazy. This guy only thinks in binary. There is no nuance. It's all this political hack sh it is pathetic, man. And I, and I know why he's so miserable and depressed because there's nobody on that sort of side of like people who are hyper obsessed with race, people who are hyper obsessed with dividing, uh, I don't know, America, being grifters, liars, dividing people by race. There's nobody in that sphere who is ever going to be happy. OK, even you could give him bajillion dollars and infinite like everything he ever wanted. He's still going to be miserable because at the core, he's just a rotten human being, man. And you need to you need to take an intervention, man. You need, you need to calm down, sit down and reevaluate your beliefs, reevaluate what type of person you're being. And, uh, you know, it, God forbid there's an afterlife, man. You will, you will not be having a good time. So I don't know. Maybe it's time to atone for your sins over here, buddy. I'm so sad. I think the streams are bangers, but people just don't <laughs> see them. We oh, used to be no. a community. So here's Destiny talking about why his son fell off. The celeb and bring them on or whatever, but I don't think he's converting a lot of that person's fans to his stream because those people don't even stream viewers. And then he doesn't have like communities any anymore that he can associate with because it seems like he doesn't collab with other big streamer communities much anymore. And then he lost his connection to Ethan, which was the, the largest community they could draw people from. So. That's one part, is the unwillingness to uh, collaborate with other communities, I think is now hurting him a lot. I think a second thing is his, um, I think that he grew up really huge on a certain like political mindset, which is basically like this kind of weird far left doomerism tanky bullshit. And as that has risen quickly online over the past three or four years, he grew alongside it. But now as it started to slide, especially in response to crazy takes that far left people have been giving, especially in regards to like, Palestine, Israel, especially in regards to like Taiwan and China, as that becomes less popular, Hassan's popularity is going to slide with that because he hasn't carved out his own unique like fan base. Yeah, I mean, definitely, definitely has a point there. Hassan has gone really freaking extreme that it's very hard for the average, you know, normal person with a little bit of common sense to agree with him on absolutely anything just because he's so like, you know, divided, so split. And he's just like, he wants to make everybody else the enemy. It's always us against them. And it's just, it's just, it's just depressing. It's just hard to like a person who's always angry and always like, I don't know, out to get people over here. So now shout out to Sensitive Society for making me check uh, Hassan's Reddit over here. One of his fans actually made a post. I wish Hassan would stop stressing over his viewer account. I'm writing this because of the message he sent in his Discord today that he was disappointed and had low, low viewership. Those messages ended up on Twitter, Reddit, absolutely disgusting viral tweets dunking on him for that. <laughs> but this is not the first time he's complaining about that, which is so annoying to me. Not gonna lie, it's a big turnoff when streamers complain about viewership. Just build strong relationships with who you have here and stop stressing about it who's not. Yeah, just love me. Why do you need more than me, guys? He needs to stop doing this and come to terms with the fact that viewers watch him mainly for political coverage and don't like IRL and gaming content. Even back then, he averaged 30k plus. He always had way less viewers when he did IRL or gaming. There's nothing new. It is what it is. Like, be thankful that thousands of people are still willing to watch you when you're doing fun content. Yeah, the thing is, I would actually have no problem with us on if he stuck to, I don't know, this type of fun content. You know, I've seen a couple clips of him like playing Among Us with other people, playing these party games with other people. That's fun. Like, you know, if he's playing Monopoly with somebody or whatever, I like that content, okay? But, you know, when he starts getting political, when he starts getting so hateful towards other people, it's just a miserable existence. And I, I can't, I can't 
can't support that. Also, he always has less viewers when he's traveling. It's mostly a time zone thing. Oh, that is copium, man. It's too late for people in the US. <laughs> All right, IRL Australia, you can expect people to watch you. Well, it's worse for European Hasanabi heads. Is that what he calls his fan base? Hasanabi heads? Oh boy. Oh boy. Maybe he's changed it to the lobotomites. Really hope this is the last time I see him complaining about this. <laughs> Not only does cut unnecessary stress, sure it alienates his fan base. Guys, just remember, if you ever feel bad about yourself, just remember the thousands of people actually watch and take Hassan seriously and respect his opinion. That should that should already give you enough confidence to take on the world, okay? 133k members in a Hassan subreddit. This is... <laughs> Wow, dude, that's a bunch of failures right there, dude. Anyways, Hassan, keep crying, bro. It's crazy. This guy's a decade older than me, by the way, and crying over internet views. I cannot imagine. At that point, I have a family and settle down, buddy. Jesus. Anyways, that's it, guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.